So now in this video we have an LM393 comparator integrated circuit. We're just using one out of the two of them wired as a night light. As you can see there we got it dark enough and uh, the LED turned on. It's a bright LED. It's a 5 volt 1 watt LED. We don't have a, a specific uh, voltage though where it's either on or off as you can see. If we get the uh, voltage of our light dependent resistor uh, voltage divider uh, halfway then it's uh, kind of like a half way lit and now I uh, removed some components so we can get a better view right there and uh, zoomed in we have the light dependent resistor voltage divider here going to the non-inverting input uh, that's important the output wants to be more like the non-inverting uh, input but this is a comparator integrated circuit not an op amp so we'll talk about that uh, coming up a little bit more but uh, there you can see the uh, light dependent resistor conducts better, less resistance, when more light is falling on it. And uh, so it raises the voltage above uh, 2.5 volts. We have a high output, which actually, because it's a PMP bipolar junction transistor, turns the uh, transistor off in this case. And uh, 10 kilo ohm going to ground. You can adjust the uh, sensitivity by adjusting the value of the resistor there. And now moving over here, our uh, load in this case, it's a bright LED. It uh, comes on a heat sink and already has a resistor on it to limit current. So it's rated for five volts. And uh, when you put five volts across it, you got one watt of power that it's gonna be uh, dissipating. So we're gonna use the PNP bipolar junction transistor. Since this uh, exceeds 200 milliamps of current, we're gonna like round up to 300 milliamps. Um, we want a transistor that can handle about 600 milliamps when you switch it. So the 2N2907 can do that. It's like the 2N2222, which is an NPN bipolar junction transistor, but it's the opposite uh, chemistry. So current flows through it in the opposite direction. Now again, we're gonna be switching a lot of current, so we need a lower value uh, resistor, one kilo ohm, uh, works uh, fine. In fact, uh, I actually dropped it to 470. Does a little bit better, but 1K does uh, fine as well. We get about 10 milliamps of current less flowing through here with the 1K than the 470. Um, so I meant to change that, but 1K will work. So we uh, have that when the output is low, right, that, right there, uh, going in that uh, direction there. So let's go to the uh, output. And as I said before, this is a 470 ohm resistor not a 1k but uh, it works practically the same right there we just get a little bit more current through the load with uh, the 470 ohm resistor now we need a pull up resistor so that's because the output of the lm393 is open collector it connects to ground when the output's low but does not connect to the positive supply basically it turns off so the only way we can get a positive voltage, which uh, in this case will help hold the transistor off, so literally uh, no current is flowing right there other than a little trickle. Um, but uh, normally you want a, a pull-up resistor right there, so just to the positive supply, and then that's going to the output. And uh, again, that's just so you got five volts there, a solid five volts, because it's not depending on any current flowing uh, through it, um, through the uh, collector when you have it off when it's high so that full 5 volts is going through a resistor but as long as no current is needed you actually get 5 volts one really nice thing about that so now we will uh, scoot over and see that our uh, voltage that we're comparing right there so it wants to be more like uh, this one when it comes to the output either being high or low what it's being compared to is the inverted input right there so I'm just using a couple equal value resistors, uh, 10K, doesn't matter. It could be uh, any value, as long as they're equal. And again, we're going to uh, the positive supply for the uh, positive side of the voltage divider. And we really don't want uh, these resistors touching on the uh, right side right there at all. Want to separate a little bit. And then another 10K resistor, uh, any, anywhere we could uh, connect it right to that jumper because it goes directly to ground but I decided to open it up so it's a little easier to see what's going on and there we go we go to the uh, inverted input right there and we're all done wiring so let's uh, do a test whether this works or not I turned the power on the power was off while I was wiring it and it indeed does work 
And now we will zoom back. So of course we have to power the integrated circuit and we got the positive jumper to pin eight there and pin number four there to the negative supply uh, ground. You may not see that indicated on the schematic, but of course you always have to power these integrated circuits. This is just a comparator integrated circuit, even though comparators and op amps use the same schematic symbol, a triangle with a couple inputs right there the non-inverting and the inverting. Also, make sure you pay attention whether the plus is down low, like it is here, and it is on the physical component, and minus above that. Sometimes you may have the plus on top and the minus on the bottom, uh, but uh, I don't know if there's any integrated circuit where that's the case on the actual integrated circuit. So you gotta pay close attention that uh, this input there, third pin down, always goes to where the plus is on the schematic. When we have light falling on the light dependent resistor, like we do now, enough light, then it raises the voltage above uh, 2.5 volts, which we have because we used equal value resistors there, and we have a 5 volt power supply. Another nice thing about this setup is even if the supply voltage changes, this will always be half of the supply voltage. And thus, uh, when it comes to the amount of light falling on here, it'll always be the same amount of light that gets you above or below half of the supply voltage because the voltage across that divider is changing as well. That's one nice thing that I thought I would mention. Then when we get it uh, dark enough, then it's almost like this doesn't exist, pulls the voltage down below halfway. And then we have our low output, which again is to ground, which is how you turn on a PNP bipolar junction transistor. Enough light, it uh, basically shuts off. We got our five volts going there, which keeps the PNP bipolar junction transistor off. And I'm just going to scoot this over. Which now brings us to the open collector output. I mentioned collector once. I wasn't talking about the collector of the transistor at that specific time. I was pointing at the output. That's because the uh, output is an NPN bipolar junction transistor collector. And it's just open collector because that's what you have at the output uh, collector. This one right here. It's just the collector of the transistor. There's nothing else uh, connected to it. So we have uh, the NPN bipolar junction transistor it's uh, built into the integrated circuit there's other circuitry that determines whether it's on a small base to emitter uh, current turning it on or off and uh, so it's just a comparator that uh, the output basically comes to a, a transistor and the transistor either uh, turns on or off now we have uh, limited current with this integrated circuit according to uh, the data sheet I looked at and that is a 16 milliamps of current that it can sink. As I said before, it cannot source the current. That's why we have that pull-up resistor. It can only uh, sink it down to ground. And that's only about 16 milliamps of current. And uh, that's one reason why I didn't even go, didn't go even lower with the uh, resistor coming to the output. Um, I didn't do 220 because I think that exceeds uh, 16 milliamps of current. So I did uh, 470, but uh, we're just getting a spec more uh, current with the 470 uh, resistor, as I said before, 1K works fine. So I'm just gonna leave that on the data, on the uh, schematic that I drew out. So um, I always consult the data sheet, though it has uh, more accurate and better info than what I present. So that's it, thanks for watching.